You are the wind that God blows out of his lungs to fill the sails of liberty if you decide to be part of this fight. So join us in history. It's epic. I salute you all because if you're watching or listening to this transmission, you are the resistance. All right, that's Alex Jones with a message recorded earlier breaking down some of the uh, stories that are coming out today. We have, as he mentioned at the beginning of the broadcast, we have Dr. Hugo de Garris, a pioneer of artificial intelligence. And of course, 10 years ago, he wrote a book called The Artelect War. He has a very dystopian view of what may happen with artificial intelligence as someone who knows uh, a great deal about it. We're going to talk to him today from China. He has been working uh, up to his retirement in China on an artificial brain project in China. Pretty much all of the countries are doing it. That's one of the reasons that he believes and makes a case for it in his book is it's essentially a competition, just as we had the uh, uh, space gap with uh, Sputnik. We got concerned about that. Every country is concerned about falling behind militarily uh, and doing the research. That's what's driving this kind of, I would call it a DARPA kind of madness that we see. Just yesterday, of course, we had the uh, story right out of the matrix talking about how DARPA is working on a brain implant to be powered from the spine that would go on the back of your neck. They would project video directly into your brain, bypassing the visual system that your body has. Today, we have a story that's up on Drudge Report about drones being used to seek out arteries in order to prevent heart attacks. This is nanotechnology, microscopic drones that they would inject into your arteries that would then seek out plaque inside of the arteries and release a drug derived from, they say, a natural protein that repairs inflammation damage in the body. So I look at this, I think maybe the Amish have the right idea. <laughs> uh, I am definitely, as Dr. DeGaris would call it, I'm definitely in the Terran camp. Not as a terrorist, that doesn't mean terrorist, that means terra as in terra firma, earth, humanity. That's the side I'm with. Of course, he sympathizes with that, but he describes himself as a cosmist, someone who feels compelled to create this, what he believes, godlike intelligence that he thinks is not only coming soon, but is and not just a high probability, but a certainty he believes that's going to happen. And I think one of the things we want to uh, talk to him about, besides the timing, besides how this might uh, break out, he, he has a very uh, laid this out 10 years ago, how he thought this conflict uh, would play out. So we want to talk to him about the state of the art in research. We want to see how he thinks this is going to play out. But one of the things that I want to focus on, because it has implications for everyone who is a scientist or an engineer, is the ethics of this. Because he's very conflicted about this. He feels compelled to create this godlike intelligence, even though he personally believes that it will likely lead to the extinction of the human race. There was a story on The Guardian today, artificial intelligence and nanotechnology, which he believes is an enabling technology for the kind of uh, development of artificial intelligence that he foresees. Artificial intelligence and nanotech threaten civilization. This is The Guardian. They say in a recent uh, Global Challenges Foundation proposal, they said such extreme intelligences could not easily be controlled, either by the groups creating them or by some international regulatory regime and would probably act to boost their own intelligence and acquire maximal resources for almost all initial AI motivations. And I say, if these motivations don't include the survival of humanity, it makes extreme intelligence uh, of these AIs a unique risk in that extinction is more likely than with lesser impacts. And they go through and they list in this article a whole bunch of different uh, existential threats, threats that uh, to human existence. Things like extreme climate change, nuclear war, global pandemic, ecological catastrophe, global system collapse, major asteroid impacts, super volcano, synthetic biology, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, unknown consequences, and here's the one we talk about all the time, future bad global governance. See, that's the way I see the art like war playing out. I don't see it as a fight between people who are motivated to create the next godlike intelligence and people who are concerned that's going to get out of hand and try to stop them like the like Terminator 2, as you saw Sarah Connors do, trying to shut down the scientists that she saw as being key to developing the future robots. Uh, we actually saw Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, actually start doing that. I don't see it happening that way. I see the motivation coming from bad global governance. The same kind of elite megalomaniacs, the kind of uh, movie supervillains that have absolutely no regard for the human race and have talked about 
cutting it down to virtually nothing. Virtually no one but then. So stay with us. We're going to be right back. It's an interesting show. As the new world order continues to tighten its grip on every facet of our lives, we're all asking ourselves, how can we maintain our independence? The answer is clear. Get prepared and you get prepared now. Now the only question left is where do we begin? My Patriot Supply is here to help. Call 800-247-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. We're even covering the cost of shipping. Are you willing to rely on the government and FEMA in the event of an emergency? Call 800-274-3070 to get started with your 72-hour emergency food supply for only $10. You won't be able to find this deal online, and there is a strict limit of four per caller, so don't wait. Call now, 800-274-3070. That's 800-274-3070. Call right now. It's happening again. The feds are trying to ban your freedom to own body armor. In January, a newly introduced bill, H.R. 378, will take away your right to buy Level 3 and higher body armor. Katie Armor offers the most affordable Level 3 body armor packages on the market today. Protect yourself. Buy your body armor now before it's too late. Go to katiearmor.com. That's C-A-T-I armor.com. Come and take it. Hey, sorry I'm running late. I had to stop and get my vitamins for the month. I got mine in the mail yesterday from DiscountNutritionShop.com. So I'm here, totally on time. <laughs> DiscountNutritionShop.com? Yep, they're a lifesaver in more ways than one. They have all the nutritional supplements you need, the major brands you know. Plus, you can save up to 10%. Write down this number, 888-908-4548. Huh? 888-908-4548. Or just go to DiscountNutritionShop.com. Hi, this is Steve Spillum for Midas Resources. In 1971, President Nixon took the United States off the gold standard and put us into a fiat currency. This allowed Congress and the Federal Reserve to create trillions of dollars out of thin air. The national debt has risen to incredible heights, and your hard-earned dollars buy a small fraction of what they once did. The average life expectancy for a fiat currency is 27 years. The dollar is failing and on borrowed time. When currencies fall, people turn to gold and silver because gold and silver have been real money for more than 5,000 years. It is our mission at Midas Resources resources to help you preserve your capital. Don't let your personal savings shrink to nothing. For important free information on how you can protect your personal wealth, contact me, Steve Spillum, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 308. Call today while we are still accepting dollars for gold and silver. 1-800-686-2237, extension 308. Make a change in your financial security today. That's 1-800-686-2237, extension 308. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. It's no secret that government and big business buy in bulk and get huge discounts not available to the little guy until now introducing a breakthrough crowd buying website where people can join together buy in bulk and get massive discounts on millions of popular products it's togethersave.com togethersave.com you can save 20 30 or even 50 percent off tablets smartphones cars appliances textbooks sports equipment video games and much more all with free delivery check it out togethersave.com visit now and start group buying today at togethersave.com to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, your host today on this Thursday, February 19th, 2015. This segment, I want to go over some of the uh, news, especially what's going on with the internet, because that is really key. That is the substrate of free speech in America. And we see several articles about this on the Drudge Report today, one of them from the Weekly Standard. Why can't the public see Obama's proposed internet regulations? We have the FCC saying that they need to exert control over the internet in order to give us 
net neutrality, they have been on both sides of this issue. It isn't about net neutrality. It's about exercising control of the internet and shutting it down. And the fact that they won't show us what these regulations are should make you very suspicious. We've got senators like Mike Lee, Ben Sass, Rand Paul, all in opposition to this. Lee has called the regulation a government takeover of the internet. He says it amounts to a massive tax increase on the middle class being passed in the dead of night without the American public really being made aware of what's going on. Well, that's what they do with everything. That's what they did with Obamacare. They said we had to pass it so we could find out what's in it. That's what they're doing with the Trans-Pacific and Transatlantic Partnership, the massive trade agreements that go far beyond trade. They change the very essence of government and the relationship to uh, multinational corporations elevates them to the level of government because, of course, they're negotiating these treaties, the multinational corporations, in secret. Our government's not even allowed to see it. And, of course, you've got senators who can't see what our own internal bureaucracy is doing. Uh, one of the FCC commissioners, uh, this guy is a real hero, Ajit Pai, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he is a hero. He's exposed a lot of things the FCC has been doing in the past. They say he's been talking about the fact that this is 333 pages of proposed regulation, of course, that we cannot see. Now, there's an excellent video on this article in the Weekly Standard, a real movie trailer. And, of course, we've seen this movie of tyranny play out many times before, but this is something that really lays it out. I think it's uh, also good for radio, but let's, let's go to that uh, tape. In a world where the web is open and free, and innovation spans the globe, one man has a secret plan to seize control of the internet. He has a phone. He has a pen. And he claims he has the power to do it. It's not the first secret government plan to take over a sector of the U.S. economy. We have to pass the bill so that you can find out what is in it. But against all odds, one man is fighting back. I want a free and open internet. Most people do. One man believes Americans deserve to know more. The public has a right to know what its government is doing. One man shines light into the darkest corners of government. If you told the average American that the FCC is going to propose regulations for the internet economy that are 332 pages long, and you're not going to be able to see it until the FCC adopts it, they would think that's the wrong way to go. Wait a minute. You you can't tell me what's in the document? That is correct. From the government that brought you spying on journalists, abuse of power from the IRS, and healthcare.gov comes the Department of the Internet. Net neutrality is Obamacare for the Internet. The Internet should not operate at the speed of government. On February 26th, prepare for the Department of the Internet. The Department of the Internet. But it's going to take more than one man to stop the government's takeover of the Internet. Contact Congress today and find out how the FCC plans to change the Internet. Congress should demand that this rule be made public before the FCC votes on it. Let the American public see this plan. There we go, yeah. Excellent video. Keep the internet open and free. And of course, uh, that's a great line in there. The internet operating at the speed of government. And quite frankly, it's not going to be operating if they have their say so about it. They're looking at many different ways to restrict internet freedom, to restrict the free, free speech. And of course, we have not only the FCC saying, we have to protect you from gatekeepers. So we're going to make ourselves the gatekeepers. You know, kind of like the way they protect us from violence in cities by becoming violent uh, policemen. We've got a, a billionaire, Mark Cuban, in another article that's up on Drudge saying that net neutrality will F everything up, is what he says. Doesn't mince words here. He says it's, it's a, a dispute essentially between two large companies, Netflix and Comcast, that essentially started this. He said they were able to work this out as big companies typically do, that we should not have the government getting involved as gatekeepers. And he points out that he has no objection to Congress passing a law specifying that ISPs can't discriminate or block websites. That, though, is the purpose of the FCC getting into this, is to shut down free speech, to shut down websites. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more news. And joining us in the next hour is Dr. Hugo DeGaris.
We're on the mark.